guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a GCSE advice video and I'm going to be giving you my top tips on revision and organisation. I got this idea from Hey It's Hope, so I'll leave her video linked in the description box below in case you haven't checked it out already. And also I'll leave her link, her channel link in the description box below too. Um, so if you like this video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below should I do more videos like this and subscribe if you're new it would mean so much to me and without further ado let's get into the video so first I'm going to be talking about my subjects that I took for GCSE so I did history geography French Spanish and hospitality and catering I enjoyed all these subjects but um, it was very hard going and I'm going to talk to you guys about what kind of topics I did within the subject. So in history, I did Germany. Um, I did like Britain in the, nine, the 20th century, looking at like fashion and culture. And I can't remember what other topics I did, but if I do, I'll um, leave it in the description. In geography, it was mainly like deforestation and um that's all I can remember and then French and Spanish was just tenses in like different topics um, in English I did Jekyll and Hyde unseen poems poems in the conflict and conflicts section and in maths I just did like the normal topics and then in science I did um, different topics as well and overall I found it very hard but I did attend revision classes after school so this kind of helped me in a way because I kind of had extra knowledge and yeah it just helped me. Um, so that now I'm going to be moving on to how I revise for each subject. So for English I um use flashcards uh with key quotes so i just put key quotes from each novel that i was studying down on the flashcard so that i could go back to it and uh, remind myself what that quote was who said it and what that meant i also just use my revision guides as well so like for english language i just practiced loads of like grammar and stuff like that for my my exams for history, I mainly use timelines, flashcards for like key events and dates I needed to know and also terminology that I needed to know. I did practice questions. I used my revision guide, which was the OCR um, revision guide. So I'll leave that in the description box below. Um, and for maths, I used my maths, which is really good. Corbett maths is where you can um, basically do questions and watch videos on like certain topics so if you're stuck then go go over to Corbett Maths and that will really help you. I also use revision cards for um, like key formulas that I needed to know or equations and I also did practice paper and questions I found this really helped because once I'd on a topic kind of stuck in my brain for like quite a long time and um, for science I did practice questions um, practice papers I did revision flashcards mind maps for key topics I just did like key stuff that I needed to know for that topic and also BBC Bite Size as well is a really good website I definitely recommend because you can like read a summary of um, a topic and then test yourself on it so it kind of shows you how much you know about that topic and where you need to go back to for geography it was mainly flashcards and my revision guides and yeah that's it and then for french and spanish i used flashcards for key vocabulary and also quizlet as well as a very good way of reminding yourself of vocabulary grammar i just did grammar practice like wrote out different tenses and tried to remember as many endings as i could 
also use Memrise would definitely recommend because it helped me to learn new vocabulary that we hadn't exactly touched on and that would help me answer any practice papers. Practice papers are another good way of um, revising for that subject and also Duolingo as well because it helps you with the basics and also different uh, vocab and topics. And that's it. And now I'm going to go on to my how I um, revised and how I stayed motivated. So basically my motivational and organisation tips. Um, so definitely work, work, work. I know it sounds um, like you. some people don't want to work, work, work. But if you do, hard work definitely pays off. The more you revise, the more that it more that you'll remember that information and for me I didn't always there were times when I lacked motivation and always just think like if you revise you you know you've put in your absolute effort and you know that you've tried your best um and it's hard to um do lots of revision but once you get into the routine it should get very e it should get easier the main my main top tip is to um create revision timetables because that helps you to for a certain so for the week create a revision timetable which tells you what subject what two subjects you're doing that night Try and limit yourself to about an hour to two hours of revision a night. Don't overdo it because if you do, then you're more likely to forget the information and you become tired and the lack of concentration as well. Also, you need to have a good night's sleep because that way your brain will be refreshed and also stay hydrated and have breaks during your revision because that helps it to break up your what you're revising and you're not just sitting there for a length of time trying to concentrate. It can be hard. Um, don't overdo it because your brain can become overloaded. Um, don't put pressure on yourself. I know that a lot of people want to do well on their GCSEs, but if you if you know you've put in your absolute best, that's all you can do. Um, so have a break and stay hydrated. Again, um, do things that you love as well. So take time out. Maybe it's watching a film, watching TV, going out with your friends, things like that, just to break up your revision as well, because you can't just keep, you can't just revise, 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 you've got to break it up with leisure and do the things that you enjoy. Uh, so that's it for today's video. If if it helped me, let me know in the comments below. Um, good luck with your exams, you'll smash it. Um, and if you have any qu other questions about revision, organisation tips and motivation tips, um, motivation, let me, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer anything. Um, again, I will link Hey It's Hope's video in the description below so you can go and check that out. And also I'll leave her channel, you should definitely go check it out, she's my... She's my favourite YouTuber and I love watching her videos. Um, and make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you in, next, in the next video. Bye guys.